at the height of his skill and power. Books. Just get pressing knockouts. In the last two fights, he haven't got the knockout in this. But let's not act like Isaac Chalemba. He was up big in that fight, and he went for the knockout and got it. To I think he both good points there. Still a patient, precise punching. And he did this fight of his career when he came to South Wall. He was undefeated at 21 and 0. And he had another jab. Now you see how it totals up. Jab right hand by Bevo. And that pop behind the pop, the power of the team going to the field. He had that pop. He discovered that Dimitri Bevo can take that punch. Thank you, BK. Work the body, be a little bit more active, but they're satisfied with what... And the, the most successful punch that I've seen it has been that jab to the gut, but the pro. Evo in the tan shots with steel in black. Jabs for round three, and we thought it was close to the first round. Now four to seven. Castillo's doing quite well. He's in this fight. He's boxing well. You see him firing back. But when you're losing round after round, what does his corner start to say? I think at some point you have to decide if you're going to open it. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 Unified Cruiserweight Champion taking on Chaz Witherspoon. Ah. We understand something just sprang to mind. It's like, wow, that, that used to be a very controversial thing that you had to have these next years. Now, Evo landing to the body and landing to the body. Down goes Castillo! Really changed things there. You see how quickly he can seize the opportunity. Spectacular to make a name for himself where he could just defend and see what he tries. I think it's an opportunity here. Just, what, that, that was gorgeous. It was a beautiful knockdown, but I don't think Castillo is that hurt right now. Like he dropped down. People just put him down. And we a little sort of bent distance. And round by round, he is getting hit less. And it takes something out of you to see him have to keep your hands up like that constantly. And I'm sure trying to block those hands up that. Land more scoring shots, and these aren't doing big damage to Castillo. We're winning every round. We just knocked the guy down in spectacular fashion. We're good. We're good. If you want to win the world title, protect yourself at all times. B-Ball again. Looks like he dropped the steel in. And yet, is it enough for the Chris Maddox's of B-Ball as well? And that's why they knocked down his head. And he just still continues to come forward. Which is what he's on his side. Chilemba and Sullivan Barrera, Jim Pascal. These guys are some of the best fighters in the time. And you're counting just as well as Castillo is. If he this title, then he has to open up. He has no choice, Castillo. See that good shot by Castillo. Look at the hand you're out. Snip out when B-Ball possibly is having a lapse. Well, that's, a, that's what the middle rounds are for. You do have to take that one. And B-Ball doesn't quite have the power. It's something that's going to happen. He's got the Christmas. There's a back here. It is important for us. I'm hoping that I'll come see this one. But it's not easy for him. He has to stay in 10.
try to make the well at the very least out there because it's just one round. Drops under the right hand there in the final seconds and looks to punctuate the deal with a gentle cowboy. If you're his corner, Sergio. Dimitri Vivo!